Colleen's Central Texas State Veterans Cemetery now has close to 8,000 grave sites. And for over a decade, volunteers have put wreaths on those graves every holiday season. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore tells us just how far this tradition has come. Andrew. Amani, the tradition started all the way back in 2007 when Gene Shine went out and bought around 400 wreaths so every grave would have a wreath for Christmas. More than a decade later, it's a tradition the entire community has embraced. Your selfless actions, your teamwork with wreaths for vets ensures that a wreath is placed on every grave, every year, forever. It sounds impossible. We started from with less than a thousand or right at a thousand. When the wreaths for vets mission started more than a decade ago, they knew it would one day mean laying around 8,000 or more. Clarence Enox was there at the beginning. Unfortunately, it's, it's a cost. Uh, in, in the world that we, we live in. He knew the number of graves would grow as soldiers continued to fight for our freedom. But he and many others kept coming out. Speaks to how this community um, appreciates and honors our veterans. The volunteers grew from hundreds to thousands. And even today, finding newcomers was easy. It's all inspiring the effort behind this. Jim Levine Jr. was a first time volunteer from Taylor, Texas. He knows the families of many vets buried at the site. So does Jojo Kilgore. The lady that got us involved, her husband's, this is the second Christmas she's laid a wreath for him. The volunteers grew to be more than 5,000 strong. Lieutenant General Paul Funk II helped lead the walk to the black memorial stones that would start the process across the cemetery. To him, the message to our army is simple. It means that their service is not taken for granted. And while every grave forever may still seem impossible, they're making it happen. Something that I'll do until I'm uh, not able to. We're going to work on recruitment. One person and one wreath at a time. Volunteers will be back out to the cemetery to retrieve the wreaths on January 12th. Find out how to get involved with Wreaths for Vets at KCENTV.com. Imani. All right, thanks, Andrew.